everyone welcome back to my channel good to have you here uh angela of course and this is my second video for the day <laughs> well that i'm recording you saw one uh, yesterday and this is my friday video so i've put the light on so i can get it all done right i am um i was invited by carol from ercast journals to take part in her christmas tag swap and I thought, right, I need to get this done because I have a swap partner and I thought I would share it with you. So I've come up with um, a little Christmas idea for a Christmas tag and I'm going to put one in my journal and one I'm going to send off to my swap partner. So I hope you're going to enjoy following along with me. Right, so the first one I, I'm going to do, these are both similar. Oh, my, my table's a bit wet here. I've taken one of my background pages from my Christmas memories kit. So that's what I've got here. And I've backed it onto some recycled board. So this is from packaging. And I'll show you how I do that in a moment. Um, it's what I usually do. I've just edged it a little bit here with Distress Ink. So that's all I've done there. All right. And I am now going to work with this. So I'm using my die cuts, um, Holiday Greens, I think it is. And I've taken one of the little robins from my um, one of my background pages from that Christmas memories kit. So and um, we're going to use him as well. So I'm going to just put him there on the top. Um, I've also got a little sentiment that comes from the kit as well, the ephemera pack. Um, sprinkle with happiness. So that's what I'm doing here. So yeah, I'm going to just start by putting some of these. On here so I'm grabbing these next to me I've got some red bits like berries green for like foliage and a little bit of snowy foliage as well so I've used some of that glitter paper I shared with you at the start so that looks like snow there um, and then some of the green and the colors that I've used are in my um, Amazon favorite tools list and you'll find all the details there for anything as well as the the actual dies that I've used all right so I want to grab my art glitter glue and I'm going to just start putting this down right so it is while I'm talk, doing this I'm just going to talk on natter away um, so it's the 1st of December today. I cannot believe that we are in the last month of the year. And it's, I was thinking about it in the week. Um, and I mean, it's nearly at the, well, on the 15th of December. So it's like two weeks time is when I actually um, started working for myself full time. So isn't that amazing? So how fast has this year gone? I'm sure you can all relate to all of that. And so much happens in a year, doesn't it? So yes, we in the December countdown. And um, well, when this comes out tomorrow, it will be the 2nd of December. So gosh, before you know it, we'll have 23 sleeps and it's Christmas. Can you believe that? Right, now I'm going to just place this to the side there like that I want to just make sure I get it onto the side there there we go um I wanted this berry one to sort of go underneath this a little bit and I'm thinking do I want to trim this do I no I'll, I'll put it here right so we'll have that one there yeah so lots of fun still to do and I'm looking forward to having a little break between Christmas and New Year so I'm going to have some days off um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that I suppose that most people probably take their holidays over Christmas don't they well you know not that you're going away necessarily but you know with family um, and Christmas I mean I love being with my family at Christmas so my kids you know they they want their Christmas dinner I've already had uh, the my son say to me, Mom, we're having Christmas dinner and, you know, put their orders in because they want me to cook. <laughs> One year I made the mistake. Well, I thought it was a good idea, but clearly not um, to say, shall we go somewhere for Christmas lunch? Well, there was nearly anarchy. Well, I thought I was going to have a day off, but no. 
um, they like me to make certain things for them and um, so yeah they put their orders in so they want cauliflower cheese and they want gammon and all you know it's all the right stuffings and pigs in blankets do you know what pigs in blankets are uh, i don't know if the american people would know that my american viewers they are like little pork sausages wrapped in bacon and my children love them so we have to have like three dozen of them because it's not just about christmas they want to eat them for days afterwards cold <laughs> so yes and i was laughing because one of you lovely ladies sent me a, a message on youtube um telling me that after thanksgiving you having thanksgiving casserole thanksgiving sandwiches thanksgiving pasta just everything gosh why am i putting this here when this is actually has a backing this one does oh angela I'll take this off so yes um we also have that problem where we have christmas leftovers for days oh but you know nobody cooks christmas on a small scale do they you know oh look at that Look at that, it's just had some snow drizzled over there. Right, um, if I press these two down, I'm just leaving these two up here, see? I'm going to tuck the robin behind there and I hope I haven't made it too high, otherwise he's gonna be legless. He is gonna be legless. <laughs> oh my gosh, my friend, what's this about? I'm gonna to have to just trim off the claws because I want to get him like he's tucked behind there you know like that like this yes so we'll we'll do that okay so yeah uh, they want everything that they want and my daughter's going to put up the tree tomorrow and um, that's her department so we'll be doing that and um, yeah it's all coming together here all coming together right there we go i should have brought that a bit down you know okay and then i'm going to take this little bit here this little bit and talking too much you see and i'm going to arrange this over here so um this is the first one ding 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 yeah, so um, after this video, I'm going to go and have a nice cup of coffee and a lovely lemon crumble mince pie, my fave. So that's the, 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 because we've hit December now, it's mince pie and coffee, you know, at night. So it's not too late. It's, I mean, it's dark, but it's not too late. It's just because it's, um, you know, winter has hit us. <laughs> We are in officially met meteorologically that word. Um, it is now winter here, apparently. So, what which I know it is. The first of December does mark the start of winter, doesn't it? And gosh, it's cold. Hence my jumper. So I've got my other Christmas jumper on today. Um, this is friends with the other one. <laughs> right. So it's Christmas jumper time. Are we going to have that there? Right, so there's that little one. Now, what I need to go and do, and I'll do it at the end, is go and stitch there. And um, and then we're going to have to put an eyelet in there and a bow. So that's what that one's going to be. All right, so I'm going to put that one to the side for the moment. And we're going to do something similar, but slightly different, if that makes any sense. Right, so what do you need? I have grabbed myself some watercolour paper. It doesn't have to be watercolour paper. I was too lazy to run downstairs for a thicker card. So um, this is 300 GSM. It's a nice ivory colour. And it's just watercolour paper. And I've cut it to a tag size of 3 inches by 6, I think it is. Yes. All right. So that's what I've done there. And what I'm going to do... Um, is turn around and grab my embossing folder right so here's the embossing folder and what I, I have this one snowflakes I've got um, you could use a music one or anything that you want really 
um, and it's just a case of putting that in there and running it through your machine, your die cut machine. If you don't have a die cut machine, but you have one of these, a good rolling pin or your pasta machine works a, a treat. Just saying. <laughs> All right, so I have done that. So I have now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's snowflakes embossed on there. All right, so this is where my baby wipe was very handy just now because I went and I've got some of the Sizzix Luster Wax in like an old gold. All right, I think, yeah, it's called gold. All right, so this is messy. <laughs> you can see my fingerprints in there. And you need to take your finger. Um, they did think of us because they've melted it up the side, which is perfect. So you just want to get it on your finger like that. This is what I do. So, you know, uh, who knows what you meant to do. And then it's just a case of gently rubbing it on top of these little snowflakes here and there. Okay. So it just catches the top. Um, you can do it on the bigger ones. So if you do it gently, it's only going to catch the embossed area. So um, that's what I'm doing, really. So I'm sort of making my own paper, really. And I'm not doing it to all of them. I'm just doing it to some of them. Um, definitely have a baby wipe or wet wipe on hand. Or something that you can clean your hand with after doing this and then I'm going to do this big one there we go it's going to give it a little bit of depth all right so that was fun enough's enough so that's it really cool stuff and you can see I've been doing that for a few oh in my nails and everywhere right that's done all right so um what i want to do now is i want to put the same arrangement on here so um i'm going to before i do that is show you how i back this onto packaging so here's some packaging um i just take my glue stick i'm now well i suppose i could do it like that so just you want to just, I use the glue stick because I stitch around it. If you're not going to stitch around it, use a stronger glue because I'm not a, um, you know, I don't think glue stick has longevity for things. That's just my opinion. I then am going to just get this stuck down like that. There we go. And then I just take my ruler, you can just use your scissors. And my little knife. The other one's downstairs, so I'm using what I have here. So all I do then is I just cut these bits off. And that's how I back my tags, whether it's with card, packaging, paper, you know, printed paper like that lacy background, that's how I do it. Um, and it uses up, you know, you could do it with even if you don't have the cream recycled packaging, you can still do it with pasta boxes and put on that lace background or some other background or even tea stain paper. But it gives you nice rigidity and you can just use coffee stain um, paper in copier weight, you know, and that'll give you a nice background to write on. So use up those packaging bits. All right, so there's that background now. Um, I'm going to, before I go any further, I'm going to just distress the edges here quickly. So I'm just using my vintage oxide. I'm just going to do the edges lightly. Like that. Here we go. All right, and I think I've done the other one, yes. So I'm going to go and stitch both of these now before I carry on with the rest of that. And I'll see you back here in a moment. 
Okay, so you can see I've just stitched around here. So this is the blank template and look at the lovely um, shimmering going on there. And then this is this one and we're going to put in a, a, a tab here. Um, so what I've done is I've just cut out a little um, 15 mil or three quarters of an inch circle from my circle punch. Oh God, look at all the gold in my nails and everywhere. It's <laughs> going to have to go scrub my hands. Um, and I've picked up, either you can use the large eyelets. So if you're making a special tag, it's nice to use an, a large eyelet. Or the other one, and we'll do it on here, is um, to use a small normal eyelet and then use like a little one of these. And I'm going to do this one in the corner here just because of where the bird is. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to just stick this down and I don't do this for um, all my tags but I do like to you know make it look lovely as you can so there we go um, and then it's a case of taking your eyelet setter or in my case here yeah, I've got this cropper doll I'm not overly impressed with cropper dolls. I don't think they last very long. I'm on my third one already. <laughs> you know, they're not the greatest quality. The, this bit gives in. Um, so, yeah, doesn't last very long. So there's that. And uh, I can put my bow in there. The other one I'm going to put in first before I do anything else. And I'm, I think I'm going to go with this format. I quite like it. I think it just does something for the eyelet rather than, you know, this. This is quite plain. But either it will be good, you know. Is that sort of halfway? A little bit over. There we go. And again, just make yourself one of these little holes. Mm. I, there's supposed to be some special method, but I don't know what it is. I just eyeball it. <laughs> Works for me. Right. There we go. So there's that. Right. Um, now well, I won't get it in the wrong place. <laughs> that was the method of my madness. Okay. So I'm going to do the similar kind of thing now. So we've got our bird. Um... I've got my snow <laughs> and I've got my foliage. All right, so I'm going to stick this down quickly. Okay, so I have got my little robin. I'm going to stick the robin down first. You know, the first time you do your thing, you live and you learn. So now today I'm sticking the robin first because he's then going to tell me exactly where I need to be. So there we go. He's down. Then I'm going to stick that first piece of foliage down, uh, the, sorry, the, the red berries down, because I want them to be peeking out. So if I have that there, then this needs to sort of go like this, doesn't it? So we're going to get that down like that. All right, and then we can stick this one. Right, so we've got that there, and then it's just a case of this bit being stuck down. All right, so this one is now going to go um, this way, like that. Okay, so you can see he's just nestled on the twigs in between these. And then this one is nice and easy to do, because this one's got a... Um, a sticker background which is quite nice that's of course if you can get it off <laughs> there we go right so I'm gonna get this just nestling around the robin and I quite like all these layers it looks a little bit 2d here okay so there's that that's great I think that's the pro approach to do it stick the robin down first Okay, so then again, just these two bits on here. So I'll do that quickly. 
Now, what does everybody do after they eat their Christmas dinner? Are you like us Brits that like to watch all the the Queen, well, it'll be the King's speech this year, and, uh, you know, all our favourite Christmas special programmes? Do you have that the way you are? Um, I look forward to all the Christmas specials. It's the only time I buy the TV Guide magazine, and my daughter and I circle the things that we want to watch. <laughs> It's like a little tradition. It's so I, I quite look forward. I look forward to it with her. So that's fun. And usually by three o'clock, I've washed up and everything's, you know, it's all ready to. I'm ready to relax for the rest of the night and not cook for a week. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. All right, so there we go. Oh, that looks cute, hey. Right, so we've got some glitz going on there. I think that one needs a little bit of gold, so I'm going to have to brace myself and, you know, get a little bit more on my face. You know, this smells like, it smells like oranges. That's what I was thinking the citrus smell is. It smells like orange zest. It's lovely. Right, so we're just going to have a little bit more on there, I think. Right, so that looks great. A little bit more on there. <laughs> Okay, and um, one more thing to do that I didn't do in the other one. I got out my stickles, the crystal, because I wanted it, you know, to look like it is snowing. And so I am going to do this probably once I, let's let's do this after I've put on the ribbon. Okay, so let's grab okay, the ribbon. So I've got the green and the red gingham ribbon. I have got 27 inches of each. All right, so that's about three quarters of a meter. It's quite a lot, but I'm going to do a double bow. So we'll start with a green and I'm going to find put it into this little um, hole over here and get the middle. All right, so we've got that done and now we'll just make a little knot like that and then I'm going to make a little bow and then we'll foof that up in a moment. <laughs> Let me do this one. Right, so um, get the halfway mark like that. This one's going to be better because it's in the middle. Um, you know, get those in the front like that. There we go. Get the loops right, and then we'll take this and we'll do the same, put a little bit shorter. And there we go, get these in the front like that and then just faff a bit with it, you know, as you do with bows. Right, so just wanting to get it a little bit poofy like that. All right, so yeah, I'll probably play around with it a little bit more, but there we go. That's the sort of thing. And then just take your bow, fold it over at the ends. Where's my nice scissors? And then just angle it so that you get a double goodie there. I'm sure you know all these things already. Um, and then the same here, so. There we go. All right. Now, um, to come, I'm just moving these out the way while I'm, I'm busy here. On this particular one, I want to take the stickles now because I will leave it to dry overnight and that's why I've put the bow on first. So I want to get my HD on. I've got my glasses on my head. Two pairs, I might add. <laughs> um, and I just want to put little spots here just so that it looks like there are little snowflakes still falling. And I think that's just going to finish it off. Yeah, and I think I'll do it on this one as well. So this one's got a little side bow, which we'll need to just 
angle properly there like that and then we'll just put a little bit of this on there as well and it's really easy to do with the stickles really you know I think it just finishes it off nice little crystals there so we've got our little side bow robin um, which I want to just keep off there at the minute and then this one with the little stickles and the gold and I think that looks really lovely you can put a cardinal there or any of the other you know whatever bird you have that's native to your country at Christmas you know all right I can't pull these down because this is wet but um, that's my little Christmas card so I like this one the best so I think this will be my swap for my swap partner all right everybody that's our little Friday video don't forget I do have those new packs the fabric the buttons and the ribbon which I shared with you yesterday go and have a look on my website shop if you were interested in wanting to get hold of one of those I know lots of you uh, messaged me about that so it is available now um, I do have a sale on in both my Etsy store and in my website on my website so you, you're welcome to go and have a look there as well all the details for this is in my description box below the video so if you're wondering how to find these things that's where you can find the information all right take care of yourselves have a lovely weekend we've had two days of royal mail strikes here so um, i'm hoping that the parcels will be on their way to you tomorrow all right so um yes yeah, since Tuesday evening at six o'clock when the depot closed here. Uh, we haven't had any postage come or go. So I'm hoping that that remedies itself now starting tomorrow when everything will start moving out. All right, so I will see you guys on Sunday. And don't forget, I'm going to put the journal video together of the journals that I will be selling in my shop a few days later. All right, so look out for the ones that I will be sharing with you there. Stay well, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.